Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, somebody wrote here, Dean White knows the gospel, but he's not obeying, right? Uh, no, he's he's rejecting scripture. Um, he's a hypocrite. He's a liar, a deceiver. He can say in one breath that the Bibles are authority. You say, what Bible? Oh, there aren't any. You know, uh, all translations have errors, and we should go with Greek and Hebrew, but we don't really have a perfect Greek and Hebrew that's final and should never be updated or whatever. You know, the Bible says, being born again, uh, not a corruptible seed, but an incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abides forever. Um, so, somebody says, I don't believe in the Bible. Eh, sorry, not saved. Uh, I do believe in the Bible. The Bible is in Calvinism. <laughs> well, I think Calvinism. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. They don't obey on that. I guess they need to not be a Calvinist. So I'm not a I'm not a fan of Calvinism. There's so many scriptures that contradict it. it just, yeah. Calvinism is a bunch of it's just a bag of rats, pretty much. I mean, it's it makes God into a liar, pretty much. Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you believe Bigfoot is real? Um, I don't know. I saw a grave digger once uh, at a truck rally, but I don't know about Bigfoot. Never saw it in person. I so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is sort of a, a test story here in Northern Maine. Down there's a, a live Baxter test State video. Park, which is not too far from our new property. And uh, there was actually a story of, of uh, Boy Scouts that back in the 1960s or something, they were there, their the whole troop of Boy Scouts, and they all saw it as big so foot the, uh, creatures. So it's about down the woods, apparently, in here, where I'm going to be, you know, we'll be living in the future. So if I ever see it, I'm going to drop one, and I'll probably get a full body mount, the whole thing, and we can prove it. So... Um, Ahab says, I know Brother Brian believed in eternal security and said why, which is why that part of the video confused me. Oh, he's talking about the uh, Satan and hell thing. Um, well, see, here's the thing, man, is that in the in the time of Jacob's trouble, the seven years, if you take the mark, you go to hell. Okay, They don't have eternal security during that time period. And they're having to work for their salvation. That's why you see in Revelation 4, uh, I believe it's 7, 14, where it says they are washing their robes. Okay. They have to wash their robes. Okay, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Today we are already washed. When we get saved, we become yep. washed. There's a difference. So you can't reconcile the two together. There's no way. So people in that time period, Wrong. you know, they're having to work for their salvation. That's why Jesus Christ said, He that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. They have to endure to the end. You know, basically in their life. So mm -hmm. uh Ed, you, you should do videos on, on this response um, to, to, to these quick, videos. Please explain Jesus saying to the Father why he left him. You know, Father, Father, Father why has God forsaken me? Uh, because the soul departed. Um, you know, again, you know, it's not that the God the Father is up in heaven is a separate man. And he just, I mean, it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, God the Father wasn't standing there beside the cross and then he left, you know. And uh, Jesus didn't look out of the crowd and say, Father, Father, why are you leaving? You know? um, no, he's talking about the soul leaving. Um, uh, Chad Daniels, James White is one of the greatest apologists of today. To claim he is not saved because he doesn't agree on the Bible version is problematic. Um, well, God's word is magnified above his name. So, uh, yeah, that's a problem. And why are James White's books endorsed by Jesuits? I don't know who James and White is God. anyway. So the guy is not if he's an apologist, whatever that you know whole stupid thing is. But the, uh, you need to check yourself, okay? James White is a stinking rotten heretic, right? And you know, yeah, uh, Marquina down here said James got a tattoo recently, also you know, worldly. But yeah, there's a tattoo, and he called it, uh, you know, uh, his mark of. You know, the, the worship or whatever, the worship of Christ or something, you know. So, whatever. Um, yeah, and, and let me say something about the apologetics thing. The whole apologetics thing, the street preachers are big into this whole thing. What it is, they, they go that by that verse in Peter where it says you have to give an answer to every man. And they, they take that one verse and just run with it. And apologetics is basically having to answer everything. You know, you have to answer every question comes along. No, you don't. The Bible doesn't teach such. Apologetics is very wicked. It's just debating. That's all it is. 
Mm-hmm. So I know I would stay away from apologetics. It's time, it's time of the Lord. Yep. Don't know much about apologetics. All, all I know is David Wood is is an apologetic. Good night. These comments are coming up so quick. I get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a test, you know. We weren't supposed to even have. No, I thank everybody out there for your questions and things, and, and uh, just you know, your kind words of encouragement. I really do appreciate that. Do you practice a literate ministry? No. <laughs> I guess I'll tell you right now, no. I didn't deliver my son, though, so, you know. Right. Not quite the <laughs> same thing. I used to deliver furniture. Does that count? There you go. There you go. Hey, we're both involved in deliverance. Anyways, in their last night, you hear <laughs> what do you think of the books, the chaos and the false, and the kingdom of the false? I have seen it in bookshelf, and I want to ask you if you can make a video review on it, please. Uh, is that the stuff by Walter Martin, I think? I've I'll heard it. In a minute heard anyway. it. You know what it was? So, I think if, it, if it's the stuff about uh, from uh, Walter Martin, Walter Martin came out and made this big, had a big hissy fit over. Jack Chicken, uh, Alberto Rivera attacking the Catholic Church. And, um, yeah, you know, eh, that's a problem. <laughs> After the saint dies, do we say the judgment to Christ and then heaven? No, um, we go to heaven and then we go to the judgment to Christ. It's going to be in the same place. Uh, God's throne is, is in heaven. I'm, if you've ever seen my geocentricity study or whatever, I show where God's throne is. And that's where we're going to go with the judgment seat. So, right. And then he's going to try our works there. So, and the whole Hebrews nine twenty seven thing. Let me say this real quick. Basically, what that means is when you wake up after you die, you're either going to be in one of two places, heaven or hell. Yep. You know. So that's the judgment. You wake up in hell, that's your judgment. You wake up in heaven while you're saved. You know. That's the, that's the judgment. Yep. What do you think of Lord of the Rings? I have a multiple part study on it going through the whole thing. Um, just to kind of give you some information on it. Uh, Lord of the Rings was uh, Ask Brian, what do you think of Robert Brian? Brian so so I just want to hear what, um, what uh, I mean by this. He understood the Brian, Father Brian Denlinger. Nature of Roman Catholicism. And, and, and then I'll go on he that. He basically put that into his own fictional work and uh, made a, a mirror image of what real Catholicism is all about. Him and C.S. Lewis, they were both high-level cause. Mm-hmm. What do I think of Robert Brager? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 must be new here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Robert Brager. No. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Uh, he's monetized. Uh, he he just steals people's information, you know. And I, well, not information, I shouldn't say, but material. And uh, he, yeah, yeah. And well, monetization is better than what you're doing, Brian Denlinger. Yeah. Who really just Asking the body of Christ to uh, fund your coverage, Brian Denlinger. Uh, the whole Nephilim theory thing came from the Okay, I'll go now. Thank you.